Hello, I am Simone from Goodway Sona Academy. Welcome to watch our video about SAMS. SAMS is a smart energy management system designed for PV power plants. There are many great functions and features like data presentation, main dashboard, reports, alarms, etc. Today, I want to invite you to work through the procedure with me and learn how to create and match plans on SAMS in a few minutes. The link of SAMS is www.samsportal.com. At this page, we can click on Demo to check example plans which are for monitoring only. Here is language option. Now we have 11 different languages available. More options may also become available if there are new voices from the market. To use SAMS, I need a proper account. There are different ways for distributor, installer, and end customer to get their accounts. For example, as an installer, I should contact my distributor first and ask him to create the account. Then I will receive an email from SAMS, which includes my account name and temporary password. Here is my email. We should check on the first link to confirm and change my password as required. Okay, I've logged in, but the homepage is just empty. So next step, we need to create some plans. This is plant creation page. On the owner, we should put in the email address of the plant owner. If necessary, we can also add some visitor email to grant access to someone else. Then we will work on plant info part. There are a few items with red star mark, plant name, capacity, location, and profit ratio, which I have to enter in order to complete the process. Since I'm using my installer account to create plant for my customer, my installer code is here by default. OK, everything is done and confirmed. We can click on Submit. We have created an empty plant. Next step, we will add device into it. The serial number and check code can be found on the inverter's label. If we have multiple inverters installed in the same system or multiple plants in different locations, you can just repeat the previous steps. Plant creation is done. Let's check out how to monitor our plants. We are back to home page again. The four blocks demonstrate overall picture of the plants under my account, including plant performance and status. For example, these four different colors tell four different plant status. Green means plant offline, green in normal status. Moreover, I can rank my plants according to their capacity or generation. It can display plants in different classification by selecting residential, commercial rooftop, or ground mounted. Even more convenient and quicker, 
I can locate specific plant using search function, such as plant name and serial number. This is my plant. I click on the name and enter into single plant page. This part is basic info, including capacity and location of the plant. This part demonstrates real-time status, generation and income of this plant. Then there are curves, charts, and export data, which can give us more details of the plant performance. Let's move to the devices in this plant. From here, we are able to know inverted operation status, today's generation, general parameters, AC outputs, and DC inputs. When I click on curve, we can see more operation details of this inverter over a period of time. In addition, I can export the data for future reference. This inverter is offline right now. Let's check it on Anom's page. At this page, all plants in arrow status are listed here. When I click on details, we can find which inverter in which plant has what arrow during what time. Plus, these arrows are arranged according to the warning level and status. We can also find analysis of the occurrence of such error and get troubleshooting advices and more details as well. Another basic but great function is reports, which includes historic data, generation reports, and statistics. At the end of this video, I guess you all have a basic view of how Samsung looks like and how it works. But there are more functions and features expecting us to discover such as organization management, auto device detection, node monitoring, and weather station monitoring, etc. Do you have any questions after watching this video or any good idea on what should come next? Comment here or contact us directly. See you next time.